Hello, welcome back to Tell Me Why. Um, yeah, it's been uh, it's been over a week since I last played this. For being there. Reach out if you need anything. R six eight six five three. Look it up. Look it up. She says. Okay. Okay. So I'm trying to remember what we were doing. So we're in the police station. I remember that, and we're trying to investigate. Nope. Nope. Not this one either. Uh, where's the damn box? Well, uh, it'll be easier with you here. Uh, about that file number. Huh. What was that reference? I, I know she's out there to Zero keep five, look because we're not supposed to be in here. Maybe this one. Oh, hang on. No, that's not it. Not that one either. Nope. Nope. Finding anything? Nope. Not this one either. No, that's not it. Nope. Well, I'm kind of just kind of. Uh, I've already done this. Huh. What was that reference number again? Zero five R sixty eight six fifty three. Oh, am I supposed to? What was the number again? R oh, maybe that one. Nope. Nope. R o five. Here we go. Uh -huh, there we go. Found it. Looks like a step by step record of the investigation. Ooh, should I read this all? Ah, oh, I hate reading. Notable by partner officer Christopher Hold of Accident 12. Da, 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 da. Okay, nice. Well, so far I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. Okay. Right. Where's that everything, is it? Alright, leave. Awesome. So, computer. Oh yeah, we should probably put the way the evidence. Alright, wait, wait, where's that computer gone? Wasn't there a computer here? Before oh there's the computer. Alright, I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March first, two thousand five. All right, crime reports. Last update, uh, 24 hour homicide report. Okay. Well, I have to choose one of them. Let's choose this one. Oh. What am I doing? Choose files, two cases found as a result of your search. Okay, back. References 05R61889. What is going on? Okay, now what? What am I doing game? God, I hate it when I get stuck in video games. Okay, I need to check out 05R62766. Okay, maybe that's what I'm meant to do. I'm meant to check out another box. What is it again? 05R. No, 05R. <sighs> Not this one either. Uh, where's the damn box? You finding anything? Just give me a minute. It's a mess in here. Come on, we need to hurry. 
That's fine. I've got all the time in the world. It's a video game. They won't come up. I don't have a timer, do I? Oh, maybe it's this one. No, nope. it's not it. This one? Nope. Well, no, it's still not found it. Is this one meant to do? Maybe that one. Not this one either. Oh, it's a note. Oh, VHS. VHS tape. Good times. Okay. No, that's not it. Are you finding anything? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. References zero five R sixty two seven sixty six. Okay, R sixty two seven sixty six. It's not wasn't that one, was it? Sixty two, I think. Where's sixty two? Why can't they put everything in alphabetical order? Number order. R62 oh, I have no clue right, All the R's are here but I can't see, was it R62? That's 61 68, 63 Nope. Where the hell is 62 then? Doesn't look like it's here. Oh my god. I have zero patience right now. Okay. I need to check out. Zero five R sixty two seven sixty six. Zero five. All these are zero five. There's a zero five here. Where is this one? No. Not this one either. Uh, where's the damn box? Well. Where is that damn box? Should we switch? I look out the door and you find the box? Can't be bothered to reply, it's just the same response. I can't believe I'm trapped in here. Oh, I'm going to quickly go on YouTube and find out what I'm actually meant to be doing. Oh, I'm back. Apparently, it's here. Right in front of me. I have her autopsy report. Okay. She. Yeah. What is it? She drowned. Stab wound was non fatal. What? Okay. So she drowned. I guess she was unconscious though after she got stabbed and then drowned? I don't know. Oh, I think about a sneeze. Hmm. I think it might have gone away. Oh, god damn it. I always quite enjoy a good sneeze, and I'm always a bit disappointed when I, when I miss it. Alright, what are we doing now? Back on the computer? Ooh, we've got a few more things. Dallas Crossing Police Department. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, I can hear you. It's my mom. She she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. Where home? Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? 12 K 
Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! I guess he hanged up. Okay. So we've seen all these. Here. Been there, done that. Man wrote in personal information rap sheet. Theft report plus child. Wait, what am I doing? Am I backing up? References. 2005-201-546 So I meant to remember that. Okay, I need to check out 2005-201-546 Where? Is that a box? 2005, that's 2014 2005, not that one. No, that's not it. There. Okay, okay. Here's one of the complaints. Shit, it's from Tessa. She said Marianne was shoplifting and that she had a shoplifting too. I remember going in to get things for her, but she said she'd already paid for them. Tessa also accused her of child neglect. What the hell? Is there any more to that? No, but I'll keep digging. Okay. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Eddie's coming up the stairs. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, um, stall him. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm done I'm being in this room. No, you're not. He'll see you. Yeah, I'm doing it. Say I'm... In the bathroom. Right, right. Tell him I'm using the bathroom. Right. Uh, now what? Tessa's name came up. Search for her. Okay. Oh, it won't be that well. Instance. Uh, already seen this one. Uh, been there, done that. Uh, already seen this one. Oh, I can have up to four tags. I've seen that Been one. There. Done that. Uh, already seen this one. Uh, uh, uh. Been there. Done that. Uh, uh. What am I doing? Been there. Done that. I've literally clicked on all of them. Oh man. This investigation is taking forever. Tessa's name came up. Search for her? Yeah, I did. Like, literally nothing came up. Did incidents? Uh, already seen this one. Okay. Uh, uh, already seen it. Mm. References. 05R68 MISC. A5R. 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 Man, we've been in this room so long. I'm amazed we haven't been caught. And I'm using the bathroom. I actually, it's going to get to the point where I've just been on the toilet for so long. At least that's what the police people think. Is that one? Nope. No. Are you finding anything? Okay, here it is. Got it. 
Huh. Why is that here? Why is it? Pressure in the head, he headache, loss of consciousness, daziness. Hospital report. What are we doing back onto the computer? It mentioned child services. Search for that. Uh, already seen this one. Got something. This is Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronin family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, uh, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh-huh. K-A-N-S... K-Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Prue. How worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Prue. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCX. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. We need to keep digging. I'm really not paying attention to the story right now. Check it like out. who reported who? I don't know. Zero one C O M E B R. Okay, that was another. That one maybe. No. Not this one either. Wait, was it zero five? One of these ones maybe. -la 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 -la. That one maybe. Here we go. Unbelievable. Allie, Tessa called fucking social services on us. And Eddie went along with it. What? Where are you? What's going on? Secret service? Or is that like child secret service? I need to get moving. Alright. Well, are we leaving now? Or should I go back and look at Peter? Shit. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Uh oh. Is this where I have to like find a place to hide? Get out. Oh. Uncle, I we didn't mean I'm to I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it. H hey! <laughs> Get off me! You'd rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me! Go on! And consider yourselves lucky, your family. Uh, are you kidding me? Let's talk private. Let's let's be civil about this. You're right, family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk. Smooth. And that's why you always be civil. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. 
She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. No, no, I'm... I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. Oh my god, I'm really not paying attention. Which one's Tasha? Is she the one, is she the shopkeeper? Or was, was Tessa the mum? I don't know. So, she was struggling through the snowstorm of the century, and you reported her to social services? Tessa came to me and reported potential child neglect. As What's a sworn officer, I'm it. I am I think required Tessa's the mom. by federal law to report the allegation to OCS. I feel like I should probably know this. Oh no, I think Tessa's... Tessa must be the shopkeeper. Tessa from Tell Me Why. Yeah, she's the shopkeeper. Uh, Tessa stabbed her in the back, so you called child service. Tessa stabbed her in the back. A snake pretending to care to be her friend just to stab her in the back when she was down? Tessa helped out your family for years. I'm convinced her concern was real. Yeah, probably. Of course you would. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day, before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> That's bullshit, Ellie. Uh, just like that, huh? <laughs> Alright, let's do that one. What? It's bullshit! He didn't forget to water your goddamn plants. He lied. You know what? Never mind. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but... You have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past ten years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. Uh, we could get there with time. No, it's not that easy. I'm sorry, Eddie. It's not that easy. You're right about one thing, though. It's time we move on. See you around, Chief. Well, that went well. Let's go. Okay. So I'm. I feel like I'm struggling to kind of follow the story. So how was that his fault? I know they say so they called S Child Secret Service. You know the drill. Yeah. And I guess that might be one of the reasons why the mum, or our mum, was struggling. But ultimately, we kind of stabbed. Allison. What? Well, Allison you stabbed. Like shit. How can you tell? Uh, well, because I feel like shit. 
What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Nothing. We're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa. Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Well, she did care. Where is everybody? Tessa's got to be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. Given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. Alright, alright. See with these people. Hey guys, I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Oh, hey, Tyler Ronan. Huh. We keep bumping into each other, don't we? What were you guys talking about? I don't think you'd be interested. Oh. Okay, then. Okay. Oh, man, I haven't had this cereal in forever. What's that? Coco? I don't know, the look thing's in the way. Coco crack? Cracks? Okay, that's a big uh, pumpkin. Pumpkin's ginormous! Okay, what are we doing? We're looking for Tasha. 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 Is she outside? I guess not. I can't leave right now. I still gotta find Tessa. Or Tom. Okay, maybe they're in here. Alright, well there's Tom. Hey Tom. What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation to try to get their support? Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I should be on my way over soon. Hey Tom. Hello, Tyler. Uh, can I help you? Yes. Where's your wife? Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time. But is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe. Actually, uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Tessa reporting Marianne. Why was Tessa at the station? Let's just get straight to it. Straight to the point. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Uh, why was Tessa at the station? Tessa reported. We've already done that one. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. 
How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. All right. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so... Don't be late. Uh, yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who our father might have been? I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. It's Tom. Tom's the father. But look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Oh, so they don't know who the father uh, is. Michael, uh, could you finish up the storage room? It's and Michael. Just, uh, Michael's the father. Up? It is sure thing, boss man. See you later. I doubt it. He he seems a bit too young. But it could be Tom. You two want to help a brother out? Spend the afternoon here working for free? Nope. Why not? No. Oh. We came here to talk to Tessa, and she's not here. Uh, she she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Oh. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Okay. Where'd that question about our father come from? Uh, I'm curious what he knows. I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. Yeah, I want to know who the father is. Uh... Hey, so you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah, like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. Uh, you won't be alone. Should we just not go? I know, but I'll be there too. And Michael. I'm not sure I want to drag him into this. Hey, he offered. He wants to be there for you. <laughs> for me, huh? Well, we need to get the store closed, so... Go give him a hand. Okay, well. The store looks pretty close to me. The door's not opening. It must have already locked up. The outside. Man, this place is so deserted. Is that, is um, Alaska this deserted? anyone know? I'd be intrigued. Oh, okay, the door is... they haven't locked the door. Can't go that way though. Game forces me... where the hell's Michael gone? Is Michael in here? Michael? Michael, where are you?
All right, must be in here. All right, I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the back. Oh yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? All right, what are we counting? Your job's not that hard. I'm just clowning. Clowning? Clowning. I'm clowning. I don't even know where to begin. What do I do? Yeah, let's start with an easy one, all right? Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Moto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Clowning? I've never heard anyone use the word clowning. What does that mean? Examine. What are we doing? Uh, no, that's not it. What are we doing? Beans, counting beans. I'm so bad at following instructions. Oh, la, 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 la. Red Queen. You know, when you think about it, glass is really just tortured sand. Huh. Have you been sniffing the spray paint, Tyler? Oops, so I thought I was. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to say that loud. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I I was just remembering the time Allison and I opened up a bag of flour and threw it at each other's faces. We called it a, a summer snow fight. We made a gigantic mess. Marianne was pissed. Yeah, I can imagine. Alright. What are we doing? We're counting... I think it's that. Oh, it must be this, right? Uh, no, that's not it. No. Why am I standing here looking at this? I don't know. You seem to like count some jars. Where's the jars? Man. Man, examine. Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah. That's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. And for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages. But he is very, very hot. Shit. Yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah. He's got Father that silver Batista. fox thing going on now, see? That's yeah. a cool yeah. name. I see it. Well... <sighs> I mean, he could be the father, maybe. Salmon. Yikes, that's unsettling. Oh, that is unsettling. Okay. Should we just ask him what we were actually meant to be doing? Remind me where I'm going, and uh, what am I supposed to be counting? Back of the room. And we're looking for molto bene tomato sauce. Back of the room, tomato sauce. Got it. Back of the room. Okay, well, we've been here. I thought that was the tomato sauce. Tomato sauce, tomato sauce. Da -da -da, where's the tomato sauce? Uh, oh, this must be it. Right, let's Hold count. on. Let me count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm counted 14. So let's go. Oh, quick, quick, got a timer. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay. Sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. I am so good. Wait, what am I doing? On it! On it. Right. Where's the bleaches? Those bleaches? I don't need any of this. Nope. Bleaches? I wonder what's in that box. I don't know. Where are the bleaches? These bleaches? Don't think so. I don't know. Maybe it's this. 
We could use some of that at the house. More paint. More bleaches. What are they look for? Bleaches. Total task phase. Total, where are the bleaches? What am I looking for exactly? I need to know how many bottles of bleach we have on that shelf. Lives depend on it. Lives, Tyler. Whoa, got it. I'll try my best not to fuck it up then. Let's put the heavy stuff near the exit. On the bottom shelves. Near the exit on the bottom shelf. Which exit? Why am I standing here looking at this? I don't know. I don't know where the bleaches uh, are. No, that's not it. I wonder what's in that box. I don't know. A mystery. Bleaches. What bleaches again? Bleach is something you put like in a toilet to clean or something. I don't know. Maybe I should pick up some for Allison. Oh, there go. Count. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Are we just counting the white ones? Must be. Six. All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. Okay. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on. Look at the hair. Nailed it, right? You're telling me that I'm doing your job and you're just drawing. Uh, there's room for improvement. Uh, there might be a little room for improvement. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, I just said a little. That means it's mostly good. Man, I pour my heart out into this, and this is what I get? Hey, this is what cold you get Tyler. when you make me do your work. Ice cold. While you just so doodle. So this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? Exactly. What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? A multitask. I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir. What? I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. All right. Anything else you wanted me to check? Yep. One last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? <laughs> plushies. That box over there. Uh, are you gonna make me beg for specifics? Tempting, but no. See that Bible study poster on the wall over there? That's where you should be looking. Ah, huh. you're too kind. Uh, okay, so poster. That one. Why am I standing here looking at this? I don't know, I'm looking for whatever uh, we're looking no, for. That's not it. Oh, I drank this at a party once. It did not end well. Oh, any good stories? I mean, probably, but nothing I remember really makes sense, so. What's this? So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven's not an option. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's probably one hiding somewhere. Let's say eight. You've got about eight left in that box? Did I get it wrong? Michael? Ouch, what the fuck? Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. <laughs> You have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. Okay, uh... Oh, it's I meant to. Oh, damn it! Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? 
Come on, come out. Can I actually hit from here? Right, how do I throw? Don't actually know how you throw. Oh, shoot. <laughs> gotcha. Where's he going? So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. Oh, change color. Shoot. Is that all you got? Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna like sell them? Nah, supplier made a typo on Becky. Can't sell any of them. Cool. No harm, no foul then. Where's he going? Is he still hiding there? Shoot. Ah. Boom. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. Yo, we better wrap this up soon. Yeah. Come out of hiding then. Can I take cover anywhere else? Oh, shoot. Boom. Man, he's so bad at this game. I thought it was first or free. <laughs> Man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, I'll never make that mistake again. Okay. I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. What's that sister Here. doing? Let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, alright. Cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Alright, win the plush button. Battle. I don't know. So it's a little achievement that just came up on my screen. Sometimes the sometimes the achievements come up on the recording, sometimes they oh, don't. I see that container? That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world renowned marinade. Ah. You're super thoughtful. That's actually super thoughtful. Thank you. You sound surprised. No, sorry. I'm just not used to people randomly doing nice things for me. Oh, we'll have to fix that. Red planet. So red planet's Mars. Ring planets, I guess, is Saturn. Examine. Is that the mangy muskrat? Should we take it? Okay. Just stolen something. New collector, the Megan Musk cat. Alright. Uh so that's it. Shall we sit down? Man, it must be really windy outside. I can hear the wind. Oh man. I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Yeah, she hates it. But as long as I don't promote my lifestyle in front of the customers, she doesn't say anything. Man, it must be exhausting to spend your days educating these people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't. Opening the minds of this town would be a full-time fucking job. And emotional labor pays shit. Uh, do you ever get lonely here? Do you ever get lonely in Delos Crossing? Yeah, sometimes. So I'm always in Juno working with the JCE, meeting new people. I've got to make my shit happen for me, because no one else will. Right. I feel you. Uh, have you ever been with anyone here? Hey, I hope this isn't too personal, but you ever been with anyone in Delos Crossing? 
I dated a guy in high school for a minute, but we had to keep it quiet. I've been with a few other people, but that shit's tricky out here. And what about you? You ever been with a guy? I mean, assuming you're into guys, which <laughs> I guess I kind of did. All right, uh, still figuring my shit out. Never met the right person. Still figuring shit out. I'm still figuring my shit out. I'm not sure if I've made to be with anyone, you know? Yeah, of course. And don't ever feel like you have to rush into anything. Yeah, I don't. But thank you. All right, uh, have you ever been with anyone here? Anyway. Anyway. And I'm done. I gotta okay. tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. The fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. Not too bad yourself. <laughs> but you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be. Especially around guys I'm trying to impress. Ooh. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. Y you have no idea how life saving. A chosen family can be. It pulled me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I think you might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. Oh yeah, he's definitely flirting. Alright, you're as says, says well too. Says well? We're not looking for the same thing. Hmm. What should we go for? Hmm. Should we date Michael or should we keep our options open? It's actually quite a difficult choice. Like, I don't know, I'm kind of I mean, kind of playing all these games, you know, like, like Life is Strange, where we're always, like, dating the person. But we've never actually rejected anyone. Ah, screw it. I can't reject Michael, he's too nice. Well, golly gee, Michael, I think you're swell too. You're the cat's pyjamas. <laughs> Shut up. I've got okay, way that was a lot more sarcastic than I expected. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So... I'll get more of those if I get to know you better. For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Has it really been an hour? Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. I like that response. Keeps our options open, kind of sarcastically. Said yes. Here we are. 
Oh, poor Alison. She's definitely the third wheel in this car. Thanks for letting me hit you right over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. You okay. look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries, uh, especially after, you know. I promise after this, we can chill at the house. Cool? Cool, cool. All right, let's go. Good old cemetery. It's quite an unusually, unusual looking cemetery. I've never really seen a cemetery like this. So a lot of a cemetery in the woods. Ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. My mother made us come here all the time. It was so weird. Okay, it looks like we've got something to remember here. Ooh. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No, it's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I, I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot. But sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Look at these. Due to the national or nash, na, 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 national outlawing of nat, na, ugh, man, I can't speak or read. Due to the outlawing of native religions and the ways of life, much of our knowledge of the old ways of de, de, de practice has been lost. Below are two everlasting examples of love and da da. We continue to show our da 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 of our ancient da da da. Remaining those who have journeyed the, to the other side. And celebrating life. Cool, cool, cool. Can't be able to read all that. Okay, wait, examine? Was I meant to do something? I don't know, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. I don't, I'm trying to think. I don't think I've ever really um, gone to a cemetery to, uh, to see any of my fallen relatives. I mean, it, my, my family's quite spread out anyway, so, um, so a lot of my family is no longer with us, so buried in, like, cemeteries, that's quite a long way from where I live. Like, a two-hour car journey, for example. <coughs> oh, there goes my deodorant. Oh, I thought it was a deer. But it's just uh well it's a deer but it's a uh, 
It's not a real deer. Uh, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave, just to make sure this is the right spot. Oh, we're looking for Tessa, is that why we're here? Oh yeah, they said Tessa was here with us again. Guess who? What are we reading? Taylor Phillips. Born in 1934, died in 1981. That doesn't sound old. That's quite young. Look, there's Michael. How old would that be? If that's like mid 40s? No dice. Okay. 1930 to 2010. That's a pretty decent life. Is that 80? Yeah, that's 80. Oh, see, that's a good, that's a good age to go. That's kind of my goal to try and live up to 80. I think. Wow. If you can have really goals. I don't know. De Leon. That's the one. <sighs> don't tell me we missed her. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. Kids, it's time. Uh, oh, it's a remembering thing. Um, remember. Do you really have to go, Eddie? You can hold my hand if you want. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's do it. But yeah, living to eighty. Eh. I, don't know. I think. I don't know. Words words are hard today. I think like. I don't know. Just make the best of every day. I guess you never know when your time will be. Just be lucky to be alive. Because I mean, what's the chance of us being alive? You know, like one in a trillion. Like you have to have your exact parents. Do you have you? I don't know. It kind of messed with my brain. And even then, it's like chances it's actually you and not someone else. You know? Am I making sense? I don't know. But yeah, that's what I kind of do in graveyards. Just go and see. See when people were born, when they sadly passed away. Comparing dates. Do not step on graves. I have no interest in doing that. I feel like that would be incredibly bad karma. Doors are disrespectful. Oh. It's very quiet, very peaceful. Oh, I was meant to hit read. I was leave instead in loving memory of Dustin Lewis 1943 to 2002 that's what 60s 70s oh he must have liked fishing because he's got his fishing bow uh, I don't think we can go this way so oh there's there's Michael when did Michael's uncle die? last year it was really hard on him Still feeling it. Mm. Oh, Michael. Long time no see. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. So, how are you, um, holding up? The sooner this is all over, the better. So far, it seems like everyone in town's got an ugly secret. Please don't let me find yours. I'm way too good at disposing of bodies. Oh, I missed that, disposing of bodies. 
I'm not tasting your food now. You do look like a killer. You did look an awful lot like Jack Torrance yesterday with that axe. Here's Mikey. But for real though, we gotta schedule a movie night. ASAP. Anyway, girl, I know you're in it right now, but try not to let it get to you. Gina's gonna seem real boring after all this, huh? God, boring sounds so good right now. Binging terrible shows while my amazing roommate cooks something delicious. Heaven. Delicious food for tax returns? You got yourself a deal, mister. Um, awkward silence. Okay, I kind of thought we were in a little cutscene. Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. You wound me. Deeply. <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? Uh, what was your uncle like? So, what was your uncle like? Oh, boy. Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? Type like a T-Rex? Uh, just how does one type like a T-Rex? You know, uh, almost kissing the keyboard. Like, makes you look like you got tiny baby arms. Like a T-Rex? Never change, Michael. Anyway, as grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at, even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. You were close to your uncle, huh? You and your uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. I could push his buttons without even trying. My family's old school clinket. Spent more time with my uncle than my dad. He was the first person to test out all my new recipes. Even before Allison. Guess I should thank Uncle William for saving me from a muffin top. If you need a new taste tester, sign me up. As if you had a choice. I plan to hit you both up for feedback my whole way through school. I'm in. As long as there's nothing as adventurous as that clinket style salmon with pepper and saffron. No, I'm promising that. Fortune favors the bold, goes double for food. Alright, talk to you later. Talk to you later. You bet. Alright, this is my prediction. Michael's gonna be the big baddie. He's gonna be the villain in the story. I'm saying it now. I mean, it's probably unlikely, but um, I've noticed in these sort of games they usually like to have the nicest person in the game turn out to be the big villain. At least that's just my experience of playing Life is Strange. It's probably not going to be the case, it's very unlikely. I mean, I don't even know if there's going to be a villain in this game. I don't really know where the story's going, to be honest. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarls Branching? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. Aww. Right, what am I doing? Am I meant to be doing something? Were we meant to be visit our mom's grave? Where's our mom's grave? Maybe this way? Open. she is no for what it's worth I remember staring at the water during the funeral all right let's remember wait we have to get closer oh. uh, Allison please I'm, I'm not going Allison come back <sighs> yes yeah. it's this way then and he hoped that this would be easier than last time Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, oh, there's Tasha. Tasha. You and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. 
I'm oh, sorry. That's we didn't mean to eavesdrop. No harm done. Hey, you're that nice gal from the Vecchi store, Allison, right? Yes. <laughs> Just yours. pushes me out the way. Um, it starts with a K, right? Kendra, don't worry. Don't expect you to keep track of everyone who passes through. And you would be... Her brother. I'm Tyler. Pleased to meet you, Tyler. Pleased to meet you. Uh, where's your accent from? We have to get going. Uh, I hope this isn't rude, but... Where's that accent from? Georgia. Born and raised. Georgia. Landed in Delos about two years ago. From Georgia to the middle of nowhere, Alaska. There's gotta be a story there. Well, I wasn't planning to stay for more than a few months. And we came up for the fishing season, just like we'd done twice before. My husband, Meech, he always tried to convince me to stay on longer, but I wasn't having it. But then... Well, we lost him. Fishing accident. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Way too many families around here have lost someone that way. Yeah, something's gotta change. Anyway, now it's just me and my daughter, Jaina. And I just can't bring myself to pack us up and leave him here all alone. Uh, you wanna go back to Georgia? Do you wanna go back to Georgia? Well, that's the real question, ain't it? I never used to like it here. Too cold, too quiet. Like a frozen desert, thousands of That's miles from family. That's a good way to put it. These days, I finally started it. to see it the way Meech did. All the beauty. Are you okay? Yeah, I. I just wish it hadn't taken losing him to get me to come around. I'm realizing now I fought him more out of stubbornness than anything else. That's. That's got to be hard. Yeah. Don't ever let your own sense of what is come between you and the people you love. It's a real easy way to squander precious time. Indeedy. Uh, thinking about staying here. Do you think you might stay then? Well, my mom has been making the case that Jaina deserves to grow up with family. And she's probably right. But if I'm honest, the solitude here is a bit of a relief. I don't have to worry what a hundred other people are up to. Just, you know, me and my girl. No matter which way I look at it, there just ain't a clear choice. What do you think Jaina wants? I think she's happy to be wherever her toys are. <laughs> but when I think of how close I was to my cousins growing up, well, she may not realize she's missing out, but she will be. You know, I probably put too much stock in chance encounters, but... You have any thoughts? Hi, I'm back. My recording stopped. Um, but yeah, basically we just told her to, um, to go traveling, maybe. I don't know, I can't actually remember. <laughs> And uh, her husband was only, like, I think her husband was only 30, from what I can remember. Um, it's been a few days. I, I took uh, a little bit of a break, so I don't really remember. I hope I'll see you around. See you around. But yeah, only 30 years old. Too young. Too young. I mean, he's younger than me. Okay. So what are we doing? We're looking for our mum's grave. It's quite a nice cemetery though. This this is it. Great. This is it. Oh wait, which one is it? It's this one. Yeah. No dice. No? Wait, wait, which one was it? It's one of them. It was this one. Why can't I remember? I don't know. Okay. Allison. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. <laughs> Tyler. 
Tessa? Kids. I... Uh, I wasn't expecting to see... But what are you... What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? Okay. Tad harsh, maybe. Oh no, as I said, it's been a few days. I took a, a few days break since my recording stopped. And my memory's awful. I'm really struggling to follow the story. On, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. Oh yeah, I, I forgot about that. I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? No, I won't do this again. I refuse to be held responsible for her choices. Marianne was fine until you reported her. Fine? She was getting by on handouts for years. There are only so many times you can show up high to a generous offer of employment. Assuming you show up at all. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I said too I, much. I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa! All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry. Who's is Sam the guy with the beard? All right, let's stop being harsh to this poor, poor lady. You were worried. And you did what you thought you had to. Get it? We both do. The situation was so fucked that, well, there probably wasn't a good answer. Thank you. I... I... No, I could have done more. Marianne was fragile. She needed help, and I... I failed her. It's my fault. She's gone. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives... I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man. I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been... hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? Uh, I mean, this is quite an easy one. It's... I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then... I would feel so weird if I beat the other one after, the, after everything you. we've just said. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story. 
but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. There gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Mm. Come on. Sun's come out too. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her, but I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. And you should be. <laughs> I bet Tess is thinking the same thing. Yep. Things are going to be real awkward my first day back in the office. Oh, I'm sure you'll both manage to never talk about today. Exactly. Awkward as hell. Wait, do you work for Tess? Tasha? Do you work in the shop? I'm busy thinking she works in the police station, but that's for her dad's works. I don't know. Again, I should probably be paying more attention to the story. I feel like I'm really struggling. <laughs> Right now. But no, Tasha seems nice. I think we were really harsh on her. I mean, yeah, she probably shouldn't have called um, child service thingy but Bob. I think that was definitely a big mistake. But she means well. You want to sit down for a bit? Yeah, let's have a nice sit down. It's, the sun's come out. It's actually a really nice day now. Quite nice. Is this the first time we've seen the sun? Because this whole game's been a bit gloomy at this point. Right, let's sit down. Wait, sit. Sit, Tyler, sit. There we go. Good boy. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen. I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know, you're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately, which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait. Are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. Don't beat yourself down. Nothing. You've been working on that accounting degree. And your art's good really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house and you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, that's not going to be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. All right, just check my recording. Still working? Yeah, still working. Not even Tessa. Ready. When she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? I don't know. It still feels like there's something missing. Right?
You're never going to understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. Maybe it was a good thing that Tasha called Secret Service. Secret Service? Child Service. That's probably always going to feel that way. Just because her mum seemed to be a little unstable. I don't know. Oh my god, it's dark. Oh, I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Alright, I'm gonna pause it here. It's quite a long episode, this one. I'm gonna make it into a free parter. Um, so yeah, till then, thanks for watching, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you next time. Adios.